Up first, our press conference with Wisconsin head coach Kelly Sheffield, joined by Sydney Hilly, Tiffany Clark, and Molly Haggerty. Following the conclusion of this press conference, Wisconsin's locker room will be open for an additional 15 minutes. We'll start with an opening statement from coach, then take questions. If you have questions, again, please raise your hand. We'll bring a microphone to you. Ladies, if you wouldn't mind pulling the microphone in front of you, that would help us to get clean audio. Coach, opening statement, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> we're obviously super excited about uh, still being able to play and you know, I uh, thoroughly enjoy coaching this this group here, and so to be able to have another week is is really cool. Uh, you know, it's a program, uh, you know, on the other side of the net that I've got an awful lot of respect for for them and how they go about things, and and just a uh, you know a really good season with a with a young group of, of players over there, but. Uh, you know, really happy for these three and the others, everybody associated with our program. You know, the, the, the it was uh, field house was was jumping, and you know there were people waiting in line five hours before the the match to get in here. And <laughs> and yesterday, you know, being packed for a one o'clock game, and uh, it was it stunned me of how many kids were were there for a one o'clock game, little kids there. So a lot of a lot of elementary school kids playing hooky yesterday, but <laughs> it's. Um, you know, just so appreciative of uh, the people that have kind of that have followed our program, and um, you know, hopefully uh, they'll travel to Pittsburgh with us. As for the players, was that the feeling at the end, out on the court and down in that locker room, everything you might have imagined over your years here? You haven't gotten to this point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me. Uh, it was really special. That was my last game in the field house. Um, just to feel the appreciation from the fans at the end there. I don't know. It was, it's really hard to explain the feeling. Um, it's surreal. I feel like I'm on a cloud right now. So it's a good feeling. I think every little girl, when they started playing volleyball, they always dream of moments like these. And I know that our whole team has. So to experience it is just amazing. I, like Clark said, it's hard to put into words. But... Just really, really happy and proud um, of this team. Coach, it's cliche. It's hard to be a team three times in a year. What were you able to do against Nebraska this time, and what did you change up to kind of for that rematch? You've been right there for the for the matches, haven't you? It could have been more different match than the first time that we played it uh, there in Lincoln. I mean, this was a, you know, there it was uh, two teams just teeing off on each other offensively, hitting big, huge numbers, and uh, and this game was just really gritty, you know, in the dirt, which is how Tiffany enjoys playing. You know, it's. Uh, you know, a lot of defense to hold that team under a hundred is uh, is is pretty cool. Uh, I thought that was a really really gritty performance by us. Third set, it wasn't the cleanest thing in the world. You know, I, we gave a lot of points away behind the service line. We we messed up a, a free ball or or two. Uh, but the thing that I liked about our our group in that situation, you're up 2-0, and those types of things are are happening. You can get really, really tight, really tense. You can start playing not to make errors. You can start panicking. There wasn't any of that stuff from our group, and that was that's that's hard. That's a difficult thing. I just I thought the mental toughness to just continue to grind, continue to find ways to uh, to side out was uh, what was pretty cool. Uh, Sid, when you do, you get a sense early on that it's going to be that kind of a match that. You're going to have to maybe play things differently, or what? Were, how does that affect what you do on, in your job? Yeah, I mean, in the tournament, I expect every match to be like that. I expect it to just be a battle um, for both teams, and we know Nebraska is a great team, and you can never count them out in the tournament because they're always so good. Um, but yeah, that that was really fun, and that's all credit to my blockers and my defenders there. They did amazing. Um, my O line, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that was just a great game to play. It was really fun. Clark, uh, as part of that O-line, you see that match revolving, uh, evolving that way after the way you played that first time against them. Mm -hmm. What was the difference from your end? Yeah, I think it's just two teams that know each other really well. 
um, we knew going into this match that they're going to – what they're going to try to do offensively and know they're going to try to tee off of, on our blockers. So um, I thought our defensive players were making really good moves, really good reads. Uh, blockers were making great moves there. Um, kind of just have that, like Kelly said, in the dirt mentality. That's the, those are the best games to be a part of because it's all defense. Um, I thought both teams played really good defense on both sides of the court. So, yeah, it was just a fun game to be a part of. Uh, Kelly, the second and third set – were tied or within a point right right around the 20 point mark what allowed you to sort of find another gear and and finish two and three the, the way that you did uh, I, I don't know it's uh all i know is 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 confidence certainly helps and uh staying in the moment not getting ahead of yourself you know the the previous point is is behind you uh, these guys have worked hard to be able to develop that type of mentality. That certainly wasn't something that uh, that came easily uh, for this group. It's uh, you know you want something so bad, and when you make an error in those big moments, it, it, you know when you're wanting something, it can it can stay with you a, a little bit, or you could try to do too much. And um, you know this this group has put in the work, and and um, you, you know there's a calmness about them. There is a uh, you know we've got some really good leadership, and it's just about making a play, making the, the next play, and then you, you make one play, can you can you do it again? And you, can you just stack those things on top of each other? And a lot of times that comes with experience, and this happens to be a pretty experienced group uh, that we've got right now, and um, you know we've we've been able to to close out sets. Um, for the players, second and thirds are obviously really tight until near the end. Where does that ability that comes to being able to close out those tight sets near the end against Nebraska come from? Um, I think we're just a mature group. Um, Sydney said before the third set um, that this was going to go really tight. This is going to be in the red zone, like 22-22. We're going to have a tight match, and she was exactly right. Um, I think when we get to those moments, that we're, that's where we thrive. Uh, we love being in those moments because we <coughs> practice those all the time. Um, so, yeah, it's just a fun time to be in. Um, yeah, and I think we just have this, like, killer mentality in that red zone. Every day in practice when we're competing, we practice whether it's 22, 22, 23, 23. We uh, practice against – these type of games and I think just having that confidence and knowing uh, what it's like to be in those situations really helps just because we're confident when we're in there. Yeah and going into the third set I said guys this is going to go to the red zone and I want it to because it's so fun to be in those moments and I'm so confident in our team in those moments that I wanted that to happen. Coach how did the <laughs> experience against Nebraska come into play this game? Uh, the previous experience? You know, it's uh, it was a fast turnaround from uh, from last night. So you, you know, there is a little bit of familiarity of what you're going to see. You know, probably on both sides of the net, um, and then it's just about going out there and executing. You know, I, I don't think there was a, uh, you know, we know what they were trying to do. They they know what we're kind of trying to do, and you just you go out there and do your job and. Uh, you know, our, our, our message with, with them going out was, was simple, you know, have fun, you know, enjoy. And uh, sometimes you can be around so tight that you forget that. And uh, this, uh, to be able to play in front of over 7,000 fans that are on their feet most of the night and for the opportunity to go into the Final Four, um, you know, I, I heard from just about every alum that has been here in my time here in the past few days. And the same message was over and over and over again is make sure that you're enjoying this moment. I, I look back at, at my time there, you know, in those big matches. And sometimes I was so competitive and trying to, it was so important to win that I'm not sure I was enjoying it as much as what I, I could have, should have. And uh, that was our only message. You know, but you've got Sydney here, our compass, and right after the matches, she comes, you know, comes over, we get a hug, and she's whispering in my ear, uh, all right, enough now, we've got more to do. <laughs> <laughs> she's already locked in on, <laughs> on next week. Molly, can you talk about how well the block played before the final points were on blocks? You were in the last one. What was the block doing well to kind of negate Nebraska's attack? Yeah, well... Blocking against Jazz Sweet is pretty frustrating, I'm not going to lie. But I think we did a good job of staying patient. And, I mean, they were going to get theirs, but we weren't going to get too frustrated and 
Clark did a phenomenal job of adjusting and uh, reading the block and staying deep and getting some touches on those. But yeah, we've been re working really hard on um, our blocking, our timing, and pressing our hands over. So I think that played out well in this set or in this match. Kelly, you mentioned this was a gritty match. You guys won a lot of marathon points where your crowd really got into it. But what do those marathon points say about the quality of these two teams and the quality of the match today? And it's it's two big time Big Ten teams going at each other. I mean, there was just uh, the uh, I thought the talent out there is just is a lot of talent on both sides, a lot of grittiness, a lot of toughness. Uh, you know, that they're down 0-2, and you could just see how, you know, I mean, the toughness uh, on that side of the net. Um, uh, you know, but that's that's every week in our conference. You know, that's uh, that wasn't any different than, than what we have seen. It's, uh, the stakes are a little bit higher, but, uh, um, but we're used to playing in front of those kinds of crowds. We're used to playing against uh, that type of competition. Coach, speak to how uh, you're going to be preparing uh, this group versus how you were preparing the, the group from 2013 um, when you guys were in Seattle last. I barely remember 2013. <laughs> it's, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, this team has probably been through the battles a little bit more than maybe that, that team was. I think that team was kind of the, um, you know, the underdog Rocky story, you know, or Hoosiers, you know, you pick whatever that you, you want to go with. And, uh, you know, I think this this team, th that team learned to, to have confidence. This, you know, I know there's a lot of people that are talking about us having a four and four start, but this th this team never lacked confidence or belief in themselves. It uh, it was just a matter about getting getting better. And, uh, you know, they're, we'll, we'll figure out what we've got to do here sometime over the next couple of days. And, um, uh, probably not going to worry too much about that this evening. <laughs> what was your game plan to slow down Nebraska's middles? I think they had five combined kills and just three from Stiverens. What did you do well to take Nebraska's middles out of the match? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, um, you know, I think part of it starts with serving. I mean, it does. I think the other part of it is is that Jazz was having a really, really nice offensive match early on. Her numbers probably dropped a little bit there toward the end, but she was so hot that they were tr pumping the ball to her uh, instead of maybe going to some of uh, some of the middles. But I think it was probably a combination of, of both of those. Uh, we got some nice touches and were really kind of uh, grinding in the in the back court. Um, but it was it's probably a combination of all those. Congrats, Wisconsin. One other thing I'd like to say real quick here is that it, it, how often in one room do you get the people from Nebraska, Wisconsin, and Hawaii all here? And these are the, you know, what the, the media does uh, in those three markets for our sport is amazing and incredible and a, a sincere thank you for everything that you guys are doing to bring this sport uh, uh, the, the way that you're covering it. So thank you. Good luck doing more epic things.